we wanted to present you with just a, a bit of a tour to give you some of the ideas about how these templates can work in Brightspace and the impact they can have on the appearance of your courses. So we're going to take a look at a couple of courses uh, that were put together without using templates at all and see what that looks like. Uh, we'll take a look at a course that uses the built-in default templates in Brightspace. And then we'll take a look at a couple of courses that use the daylight template um, that you've heard us and Janice in particular talk quite a bit about, um, which is a really nice template um, that's got some really nice features, including a very responsive design aspect to it. All right, so let's go ahead and get things started here. Uh, we're first going to take a look at uh, Elizabeth Pammer's um, health psychology class. Um, and she put this together without using the templates, right? So you can see she's got a unit-based structure. Now she does use, you know, a little bit of visual elements, right? She's got she's got a banner image for each module, which is nice. Kind of gives the students a quick clue on where they're at, and even a little bit of a sense of kind of what's going on for that unit. But you can see what here in each of these modules, she's just incorporated the various assignments and quizzes and linked to those other pieces of Brightspace. But she's also given the students a little bit of a description here as well. So here's a reading guide one, and here's what they're supposed to be doing in it. There's some more information about the reading guides. Works pretty well, right? It's a pretty clean presentation, right? The students can take a look and see, okay, what am I working on for unit number four, diet and nutrition? And they can work through it. They can see the due dates. They can link right to those assignments, right? And it's probably the way a lot of folks uh, have set up their courses. It's definitely the way I set up my uh, graphic novel class um, in the past. Right? This is my graphic novel class from a couple of years ago when we were just really kind of getting used to Brightspace. Right? And I wasn't really even aware of, of how the templates worked or what, what options there were either. Right? So again, I just had a weekly structure, right, which got a little bit busy. Right? Uh, it's a little too much right, with all 16 of those. Um, and then within each module, I would just put the links to what the students needed access to for that week, right? Here's a link to quiz one, a little bit of information about quiz one. Here's a link to the video they need to watch and when they need to watch it. Here's a link to another video or quiz. And I would create, you know, these web pages. If I wanted them to read something, I would just say, read chapters one and two in the textbook. And if you click on that link, it goes to a blank page, right? Because I was just using it to really kind of put text in there. That was about the extent of how I was using these web pages and doc files in, in Brightspace. It works pretty well. It got a little bit busy in the middle of the semester and we had a lot of stuff going on. So let's take a look at the built-in template. This is what, uh, if you just start playing with this now in your course or in your sandbox, you're gonna have access to. Many of you may be familiar with this already if you went through the Brightspace training course with Carrie this summer. And again, Carrie had it set up on this kind of weekly modular basis. So you could come to the module for the week. Again, he took advantage of the banner image. He also kind of provided the, the, an outline for the week as well, which I think is a nice approach. But down here, instead of just having links to different pieces of bright space, right? And click here to take a look at this document or click here to open up this act quiz or submit this assignment, right? He's got what you can see just are web pages, right? Um, but they're clearly labeled. So we're going to start with the first one, objectives. And you can see here, now he's presented those objectives to us. Right? Um, but the difference between what he's doing here and say what Elizabeth and I were doing in our older classes is that he's, he's isolating it, right? And he's just right now presenting us with those objectives and there's nothing else going on for us to look at or, or be distracted by. At the same time, he's got slightly more visual appeal here. It's not just black and white text, right? He's got headers, he's got different fonts, he's got some color as well. And again, this is the default built-in template that comes with Brightspace. So it's good, it's not the greatest design in the world, right? It's pretty straightforward, right? Um, it's fairly dark kind of design as well in terms of the background colors, the kind of dark, dark uh, brownish gray with, with blue text, right? Um, but it works pretty well, right? And you go on to the next page and you've got access to links of videos and recordings for more information, right? 
And again, Carrie is able to incorporate some images just to kind of break things up. And again, try to make it a little more visually. But if you're really interested in, in taking the design a little bit further, then you're going to want to learn about these uh, daylight templates, uh, again, that uh, you've heard us talk about and that you'll learn how to install. Um, but that's really the trick. You've got to learn how to install them into your courses. So again, this is uh, Elizabeth's uh, intro to psych class from this summer. And again, she's got a weekly modular set up again, right? For each of those modules, she's got just this background image, uh, header image, which is nice also. Right? But you can see here, she's got kind of a mixture now. She's got links to the assignments and the discussion boards. Right? But she's also got, for each of these modules, a web page she set up using the Daylight template to provide students with a clear checklist of what they need to do for that week for her class. And again, one of the advantages is it pulls that information out and isolates it for the students so they can focus just on that checklist. They could even print this off if they wanted. And now they've got these kind of visual clues. They know to look for this kind of document every single week. And you can see some differences in the, the style from the template Carrie was using and this daylight template in terms of the colors and the fonts that are used as well. Daylight lets you have these kind of big chunky check marks as well for your lists or big numbers. And again, you would have seen that also in uh, the Learn Everywhere Zula class because we use daylight in that as well. And when the student's done taking a look at the checklist, they move on. Um, and then again, the way Elizabeth has it set up, they go straight into the discussion board that they need to do for that week. All right, so let's take a look at one more example using a uh, daylight template, and that's my grammar class from this semester. I may have gone maybe a little bit overboard with the design of this. You can see here I've got it set up using, you know, the tenets of, of Learn Everywhere Zula, right, with that quick start guide, right, um, information I wanted the students to have before the first day of class, where they could get that information, how they could get around the course, things like that. And you can see I've got a pretty clear kind of visual theme going on, right? It's a, it's a heavily gamified class. Right? Um, and so I've just got kind of game gaming imagery uh, running throughout the class here as well. But beyond this kind of in beginning information, I've got my weekly modules, but instead of having a separate content module for each week, which like I said, I found to get a little cluttered, I've just got one section. Um, I called it Order of Play, just again to, to go with that, that gaming theme. And then I've got one web page set up for each week of the semester here. And so students could come here for the first week of classes, right, before the first day of class, and they could see what are we going to be learning about. Here's a little introductory paragraph, and then they get down to the next part, and they see, okay, here are the learning objectives for the week. And then they get down here and they have the outline for the week as well. Here's what you need to do before the first day of class. Here's what you need for class on Tuesday. Here's what you need to do for homework. Here's what you need for class on Thursday. And here's what you need to do after class on Thursday. And I followed that exact pattern uh, for, each of the for each of the pages uh, for this semester. So here's the first real kind of unit page, delving into phrases. There's the learning objectives, right? And again, there's the outline for this week, right? And again, you can see some of the stylistic options that Daylight gives you that their default, the default Brightspace template doesn't give you. And I've also played with it a little bit, right? Because I've got experience using HTML and style sheets and things like that. So I tweaked some of the colors, I changed some of the fonts. Again, you can, you can do all that stuff if you're comfortable doing it, or you can just work with uh, the template out of the box. Uh, either works, whatever makes you comfortable, whatever you like. 